Okay, so what we have here is data from a 2004 GMC Yukon Denali 6.0, and the problem we had with this vehicle is we have it runs it was running rough and had a P0171 and P0300, which uh, most of the misfires were on bank one. And what we notice right away when we start here is that our bank one number one O2 sensor is starting out at about 750. Uh, millivolts whereas our bank 2 is starting out about 450 to f which is closer to normal 450 to 500 so right away we know we've got a problem here with our O2 sensor but I'll show you what happens why we end up with the lean code as I advance through the through the data screen here we see right here we start the engine and we try we notice right away that it, when it, once our engine starts here that our O2 sensors, both of our O2 sensors start to dive, the voltage starts to dive, but once the bank 2 sensor warms up a little bit and a little action gets going, we get uh, we start to see that our sensor is switching here between 800 and 200 millivolts, which is normal, it's a little slow here at the start, but at least it's switching, whereas our bank 1 sensor is just staying down around 30 millivolts or so, and even once we uh, rev the engine a little bit, try to richen her up. We see we just don't get a, right here we're revving it up a little bit, we don't get any action at all on our bank 102 sensor. So uh, what I did was, we, whereas our bank 202 sensor is, goes rich when we throttle it. So we know we've got a problem here beyond just what a vacuum leak would give us. So uh, I'll show you what, it, so this is enough, uh, just that it starts out at 750 millivolts is enough to almost condemn the O2 sensor especially when your engine is cold right off the start here and then I'll show you the repair here uh, uh, changed the bank 1 O2 sensor and uh, took care of all of our problem we're starting out at 450 millivolts on both O2 sensors and both of them come online and start switching at about the same rate at about the same time so uh, again this is a 04 Denali 6.0 uh, lean codes and uh, misfires on bank one and uh, all coming from that bad O2 sensor on bank one. Uh, when you change the O2 sensor you should of course clear the codes, reset the O2 heater if that function is available and reset your fuel trims and test drive the vehicle to uh, make sure your your repair is complete. So that's